linearly independent or non-coplanar. These are very important terms which we often use. So linearly independent vectors are those vectors which are not in the same plane. Now you learned what was linearly dependent. When, when we say that the vectors are linearly dependent, then you can write one in terms of the other two as linear combination. Now if you can't write one as a linear combination of other two, then they are non-coplanar and they are linearly independent. So that is the definition, right? So let's go with that. So it is question is, determine if the vectors A, 1, 2, minus 1, B, which is 3, 1, 2, and W, which is 5, 4, 0, are linearly independent, right? So as I have told you, linearly independent means that they are not in the same plane and also means that you cannot have a linear combination of these three vectors, right? So earlier we had a similar example when we were talking about linear combination. And we are trying to find vector B as a linear combination of other two. If that is not possible, then we say they are not coplanar, correct? Or they are not linearly dependent, right? So it's a similar question. But now I'll show you a different technique of doing it. And that is scalar triple product, right? So scalar triple product is that if I show the W dot A cross B is not equal to zero, that means they are not in the same plane. Now let's first try to understand what it means. It means first we do A cross B. So if A cross B, and let's assume A is a vector here in this plane, and B is also a vector in this plane, right? In that case, A cross B will be a vector. So it is A cross B. So we're turning like this. So A cross B will be a vector which will be pointing out of this page, right? Now, if vector w is also in this plane, then, see this vector pointing out is actually perpendicular to the plane. Now, if my vector w is in the plane, let's say my vector w is here in the plane itself, in that case, this is perpendicular to this also, correct? And then the dot product will be zero. So if they are coplanar, then the dot product is zero. So coplanar, that means, and we call this scalar triple product. Since it gives you a scalar quantity, it will be zero, right? If I do A cross B, and if I get zero, that means they are coplanar, right? We also call this as a scalar triple product, right? So if scalar triple product is zero, then they are coplanar or they are dependent. When we say dependent, then I can write W as, let's say, P times A plus Q times B as a linear combination of A and B because they are in the same plane, right? So that is all when they are coplanar, dependent, all those things, right? Now the question here is, determine if these vectors are linearly independent. So independent will mean that it is not zero, right? Scalar triple product is not zero. That means this is not in this plane. This angle is not 90 degrees. This is what it is. Now, how to find scalar triple product? Now, one way to do it is first find A cross B. So whatever you get, then you do dot with W, right? So that is one way of doing it. Now, I, will, I have introduced you the matrix method. We can do it by that also, right? So in that case, what we do here is we actually do scalar triple product as this. So you can now do, for A cross B, you were doing, we'll write the three vectors here, which is 5, 4, 0, and the two vectors, which is A and B, as 1, 2, minus 1, and 3, 1, and 2, right? So that is, that is, that is the matrix, correct? Now in this matrix, earlier we had I, J, K, right? I, J, K gave us a direction and we found A cross B. Do you see that was A cross B. So this part is actually A cross B with these vectors. Now I'm doing dot product with W, so I'm writing this with W, right? So that is now W dot A cross B. So this is equals to five times 
2 times 2 which is 4 minus of this which is plus 1 right and now with the second one as I said earlier the signs interchange right so we use plus minus and plus correct so with the second one we are going to use negative sign negative of 4 times now 2 minus these two so it becomes plus 3 and now plus 0 times anything will be 0 and that thing is 1 minus 6 right so what we get here is 5 times 5 so let me write 5 times 5 minus 4 times 3 plus 2 is 5 and this is clearly not 0 so what we get here is 5 times 5 is 25 minus 20 and that is 5 right now since 5 is not 0 right since 5 is not 0 we say so what we found was that scalar triple product is not equal to 0 right? therefore they are not or I should say non coplanar or not coplanar so we say they are linearly independent. Now those of you who are not very familiar with this calculation which I did, so for them what they should do is they should first find what is A cross B, right? First find what is A cross B. So whatever you get, let us say you get a vector C, right? Then, then you find W dot C and you'll get your result this as equals to 5 and since it is not equal to 0 we say they are linearly independent right so that is how it is to be done thank you